Hey guys, Pie Rules here, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Times TV Log. That phrasing was awkward, but this is the very last episode of the season. Billy's Bucket List. And in this episode, we finally get Finn and Jake back in... Well, I mean, we get Finn. Finn's in this episode. Yeah, I mean, Jake's in it, but... Uh, yeah, we didn't get another one where Finn and Jake, you know go on an adventure, or even do anything together. Yeah, that, um, I don't, I don't know why they spaced these episodes like this. I don't even know why Jake wasn't a part of this episode, really. I mean, I guess, I guess it makes sense that Finn, because Finn's doing his own thing here, um, you know, and it really was an episode about Finn, but Jake could have totally played more of a, whatever. The episode was all right, I don't think it was anything fantastic or phenomenal or really any anything that deserved to be a season finale. I mean, there's something at the end that obviously is a little bit of a sequel hook for the next season, shall we say. Um, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but the rest of the episode is just kind of there. I mean, it starts off with a rap battle, and that's all right, and Andy Samberg returns again, so that's always cool. Um, then Finn goes adventuring with Canyon, who's Billy's ex-girlfriend. All right, and that part's cool, too. And then she leaves, and then Finn finds something else on Billy's bucket list to, to go float in the ocean, and Finn conquers his fear. Okay, that's, that's another thing. He slays the fear feaster with his grass sword. Uh, or his grass sword may have done it without him. Um, and he finally overcomes his fear of the ocean. Okay. And then there's like a weird trip underwater. Or actually, I think that happens before. But yeah, there's a weird trip underwater. And then he surfaces and he sees Billy in the stars. And then Billy tells him the, the sequel hook. It's a very disjointed episode, in my opinion. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. It just doesn't feel like one plot. It feels like a bunch of just things that happen. Um... You know, and it is related, it also is all related to Billy's bucket list, so it makes sense, but it's not just like a random events plot, but it is a little bit all over the place, it doesn't really focus on one thing for too long, and I don't, a lot of it doesn't really make sense to me, and part of this is because uh, Cartoon Network aired His Hero, the, the first Billy episode, uh, right after this episode, which is cool, because it's cool how they paired the episodes like that, how they put thematically things uh, thematically, they put these episodes together in airing, but, um, yeah, Billy didn't really seem to know Finn in his first appearance, so why does he know where Finn's dad is, and why does it seem like in this episode that Finn and, and Billy, like, went back a long ways, because really they didn't, I mean, Finn's been kind of a fanboy, I guess, and maybe it's like Billy knew of Finn, like he, like he knew Finn was a groupie or a fanboy or whatever, but he didn't really know who he was until his hero. Or maybe the, maybe the events happened between his hero and this episode. I don't know. Time has passed in, in the show. So, there's that. It just it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make sense why Billy would know where Finn's dad is. It doesn't make sense why Billy would wait until now to share where Finn's dad was. That entire thing felt tacked on, uh, just to give us a sequel look. Like, it didn't, like, the news of Billy, of, of Finn's dad really doesn't have anything to do with Billy, does it? I mean, maybe it'll be revealed next episode. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Billy was the warden at the weird Crystal Jail or Crystal Citadel or whatever or something. I don't know, maybe there's a connection, but it doesn't really seem like it makes sense. If anything, it would, it would be, like, Prismo or the Cosmic Owl or someone like that that drops the news on Finn. Like, that would be... That would be interesting. That would that would make a little more sense. Um, and how weird would it be to have an episode, like a different episode, where, you know, stuff's going on and all of a sudden the cosmic owl swoops in and is like, Woo, Finn, your dad is over there. Um, you know, like, that would be cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some cool things about the episode. It's cool to kind of get some closure on Billy. And although Jake's apparently still in denial, um, it's... Canyon seems to be an interesting new character, and I don't know, there seems to be something there between her and Finn, despite the fact that she's twice his size and probably a lot older than him. Um, but it, it was cool. It was cool that Finn kind of had someone else that was up for adventuring, and 
yeah, that was cool. Um, I don't know. There's nothing I, I didn't really like. There's nothing I didn't like about the episode. I just didn't feel. I don't feel like it's it's season finale uh, worthy, and I don't feel like a lot of it really makes sense. I I, I felt I feel like at least the twist at came just kind of out of nowhere to surprise everyone. But it just it. I don't know. Apparently, the this twist was supposed to be used like last season finale or something like that, or a long time ago. Storyboards exist of uh of the revelation that finn's dad was in the crystal citadel or whatever um and we don't know if this is like in the crystal dimension uh like the like tree trunks is crystal dimension or somewhere else or who knows um but i mean i'm cool this is it's cool like i get it adventure time's the king of of pulling random crud like this out of nowhere um and i am excited to see finn's dad and his story and all that like that should be something that's really awesome and epic and if they turn it into a goofy episode like they did with the whole jake the dog thing i'll be a little bit disappointed just just gonna throw that out there um yeah so all in all this episode was decent probably not worthy of a season season finale and I I still don't entirely buy the whole Billy knowing about Finn's dad, not telling Finn for some reason, and then magically appearing to him in spirit form. And again, I you know, like I get this the magic spirit form thing. Like this is ooh where anything can happen. I get it, but it just seems like I'm Billy and I've come back from the dead to tell you news of your father out of nowhere that has nothing to do with anything you've been doing and i you know and and he, billy has very little and again unless we find out that billy has some connection to finn's dad which i don't know it, it doesn't seem like there's legitimate reason for billy to know about finn's dad that that's just at least in my opinion uh but again could have been could have been a worse episode to to end on i suppose at least this one had finn in it right <laughs> right oh so yes, that is Adventure Time Season 5, kind of. See, here's the thing. Uh, at the beginning of the season, I, I was doing some uh, individual episode reviews, and I did some uh, t uh, topic of discussions where I talked about a few episodes at once, and then I did the TV logs. So I've spoken about a good majority of Season 5, but not all of it. There's like 15 or so episodes in there, in the middle, between like right after A Glitch is a Glitch, uh, and before the vault that I haven't talked about ever. Um, so I think I should. I think in the time that I have, in the short time between this season finale and next season's beginning, I'm going to talk about those episodes. So I'm going to do TV logs for them from the vaults or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and I'll put them in a playlist. I got a playlist going of all the episodes of Adventure Time I've reviewed in one form or another. I'll put them in there in chronological order based upon Adventure Time episode, not when I recorded them or whatever. So if you want to watch them all in order again, that's cool. And then after that, at some point, there will be a season wrap-up recap type thing. And um, I, I have some interesting ideas with that. Maybe I'll do a mashup of like all these videos. Uh, maybe like one line from each video that sums up each episode. Um, but I, I definitely will do a recap for this this uh, season because there's a lot of interesting things that deserve to be talked about, like how, where the season started and where the season ended because it's a very long season and a lot of different arcs go on. Like even within the season, there's a few arcs uh, that start up and stop and all, and all that. Um, it's very interesting stuff to talk about. So there will be Adventure Time stuff continuing on. And guess what, guys? I'm going to do this for Season 6, too, because that was the total surprise that you weren't expecting. Bye, Guy Rules. Out.